गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरीबडी वेलकाम टू अनलैन भिडियो लेक्चर क्लस अफ मेडिकल बायोकेमिस्ट्री हेर एम प्रेजेंटर सुबीर कुमार मंडल एसिसटैंट प्रफेसर बायोकेमिस्ट्री डिपार्टमेंट आदिन आखिज मेडिकल कलेज एंड हस्पिटल खुलना बांगलेश टूडे आई एल स्टार्ट नि टपिक फ्रम द क्लिनिकल बायोकेमिस्ट्री कार्ड और कार्ड नम्बर फाइव माइ टपिक इज क्वालिटी कंट्रोल अफ बायोकेमिस्ट्री लैबरेटरि दिस इज एनदार important item of this card so i'll discuss today about this topic at first we have to know what are the purposes of lab testing so there are various or different purposes but among them there are important purposes i'll pick so at first one single patient testing for diagnosis of any disease or any body abnormalities number 2 repeated testing in a patient for monitoring and number 3 testing a population that is commonly epidemiological study or epidemiological work all are the important purposes of lab testing now quality lab service what is quality lab service and what are the importance of quality lab service importance of quality lab service mainly to produce reliable reports and timely reports for diagnostic prognostic and screening purpose to achieve best patient care number 2 cost effective service to reduce burden on the patient now i'll discuss quality control measurements there are several parameters to detect or to monitor or to standardize quality control measurement so i'll discuss these all important parameters that will influence or that will reflect quality control measurement in laboratory first one is accuracy accuracy is the closeness of measured value with the true value accuracy is the closeness of measured value with the true value the method adopted for clinical lab has certain level of inaccuracy to minimize inaccuracy quality assurance program is run number 2 precision it is the closeness among replicative measurements under specified conditions it is the closeness among replicative measurements under specified conditions imprecision leads to loss of reliability and affects serial measurements as for example plasma glucose etc number 3 specificity it refers to the percentage of negative results among people who don't have the disease specificity refers to the percentage of negative results among people who don't have the disease example test for ammonia intoxication is 99.99% negative in normal healthy individual number 4 sensitivity is the percentage of positive results in patients with the disease sensitivity is the percentage of positive results in patients with the disease ideally a test should have 100% sensitivity in biochemical analysis sensitivity refers to the ability of the method to detect small changes in the levels of the analytes in biochemical analysis sensitivity refers to the ability of the method to detect small changes in the levels of the analytes now what is predictive value this also important parameter predictive value predictive values are used to interpret the results of a test by examining the correct classification of individuals by the test this measure 
is valuable because whether a person is truly a case or non-case is difficult to know for determining sensitivity or specificity mean but a positive or negative result of a test is known. These all are the predictive values. Positive predictive value is the probability that subjects with a positive screening test truly have the disease. Positive predictive value is the probability that subjects with a positive screening test truly have the disease. Negative predictive value is the probability that subjects with a negative screening test truly don't have the disease. Negative predictive value is the probability that subjects with a negative screening test truly don't have the disease. Thank you for patience sharing. Hope you have enjoyed this session. Thank you again.